So we're at the Davis Bangkok Hotel and it does not feel at all that like you are in the middle of a big, busy city. Hello everyone, good afternoon from Bangkok. Sukhumvit Soi 26, where the Davis Hotel is located. It's a four-star property. It's only about a five-minute walk from the main Sukhumvit Road, where you can have coffee, restaurants, bars, clubs, everything. The main mall that is located is only about 10-minute walk, which would be M Quartier. What I love about this hotel is that the location is perfect, but not just that, it's got a really nice Western European vibe to it. The lobby is pretty nice, you have a snooker table there and very spacious, very elegant, chic and stylish. The hotel has a really warm, rustic feel, but at the same time, it combines modern designs. It's just a nice balance, I think. All right, let's check into my room today. This is a superior room with one king bed, very big size. I would have to say it's probably one of the biggest rooms I've seen in all of Asia, let alone Thailand. It's well equipped. There's a lot of nice amenities. I love the decor, very woody. It's got a nice rustic feel, but at the same time, you don't feel it's dated or anything. It feels very brand new, well kept clean chic i love the thai motifs the thai designs a lot of wood paneling a lot of artistic kind of vibe going on and you have these paintings with nice thai kind of traditional elements This wall motif, the painting, it's my favorite. It just kind of captures a scene of like a bygone era. So this is the view. You look out and you see the private villas of the hotel. They're part of the hotel, but they're like a private kind of element to the hotel. Very expensive. I don't think I can afford that, but it's a nice backdrop. You have the private villas of the hotel and the Bangkok skyline at the back. Very, very beautiful. All right, let's explore the room a bit more. As I was saying, it's a very spacious room and I love the feel. I mean, 
if you are a family of four or five people, I think you can easily utilize this room, even though it's just one king bed, but it's very easily utilizable because, I mean, look, look at the size. I mean, even if you have two people sleeping on the floor and you want to wing it, you can save a lot of money. It's a pretty big room. I love the fact that it's got a lot of storage, a lot of drawers for your expenses, like, you know, expensive things like watches and jewelry or anything else you want. And of course, there's a uh, fridge there as well. Not stocked, of course. They only give you two water bottles per day. Um, but Thailand is so cheap, you can stock your fridge on your own. Hi, mom. <laughs> All right, enough of the goofiness. Let's explore some more. So you do get the gown with the room. Uh, they change the gown once a day. Um, there's actually two gowns. The other one's on the other side. You can't see it. So regardless of whether you're a single occupant or not, you get two gowns. The bathroom was nice and spacious. I'm not a big fan of this kind of marble color. I prefer marble to be either white or more darker shades, but to each their own, right? Pretty big bathroom, um, very spacious. And they restock your amenities, your conditioner, shampoo, toothpaste every day. And there's plenty of it. I mean, you have hand towels, face towels, and uh, these little glasses, and um, yeah, tissue paper. Everything's pretty much self-explanatory. I love the big tub. I, I didn't get the chance to use it. I'm more of a go into the shower and come out kind of person. But the shower is pretty nice, nice and private, covered with glass. All right, let's explore the pool area. I think the rooftop pool area is definitely a highlight. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a really nice Mayan kind of feel. And there's water and pebbles and, you know, marble and, and it's cushions and just a really nice seating area as well where you can just chillax. I used to bring my laptop in the seating area and just sit there and work and watch the sun go by. Uh, sunsets especially very romantic. Here's another shot at a different time of the day during the afternoon, just to give you a better idea of how it looks. For most of my stay, the hotel wasn't at full occupancy, so there was always plenty of uh, sun loungers and day beds available. No matter which corner of the rooftop pool you look at, there was always seats available. I never had any issues during the day, afternoon, evening, or nighttime. The pool area does close at 9 p.m., so just keep that in mind. But honestly, it's a great place to escape. If you're having a lazy day, just bring over your laptop and chill. Here's a shot of the pool area at sunset time. I think this is the best time. Very romantic, very elegant. It's just a whole different vibe, honestly. Whether you're with a family, a loved one, or by yourself, you can really romance life by enjoying the vibes here at the pool area. So we're at the Davis Bangkok Hotel and it does not feel at all that you are in the middle of a big, busy city at this place. It feels like you're in Phuket or Koh Samui or in some kind of tranquil, serene, peaceful island. Really loving the vibes here. The decor, the ambiance. It's just very relaxing, honestly. It's like a little oasis away from the city. Whereas at the same time, it's in the city, not away. Let me show you the pool area. That's the pool area. I will take a longer, more definite shot later in the evening. It's too hot right now for me, so I'm avoiding the sun. But yeah, look how beautiful it is. Look how authentic and rustic, traditional vibes. All Thai Siam architecture and memorabilia and artisan paintings. It's just gorgeous. My favorite part is this fan. 
Here is the fully equipped gym. You have all, I just finished my workout, so that's the kickboxing bag. You got all the weight classes here, the machines, the seated row, boxing gloves, resistant bands, everything. Nice air conditioned gym. Right next to the pool. And then this is the lobby area, which has the reception desk and the spa. Everything right here. Very tranquil. Hi. You're on YouTube. Sway Makma. Sway. <laughs> Sway, yeah. Yes, Sway. Really nice people here, and then you have the ladies' locker room here. Very artistic design. You have the massage chairs here. Alright, next morning I woke up and I decided to explore the Bon Davis private villas which is part of the property. It's a different complex, very expensive villas, private villas. You have kitchen and bathroom and TV room and private pool. I'll get to that later, but look at this view. Look at the entrance. You walk into this courtyard kind of design with all rustic traditional Thai motifs with the statues and just an overall really relaxing vibe and this is what i mean what i said earlier at the start of the video that you forget for a second you are in bangkok you forget for a second you are in one of the most major hectic populated cities in the world it just transports you to like an island kind of vibe i mean if i lost my memory and i had no idea where i was i would probably assume i'm in Phuket or Krabi or Koh Samui somewhere on a resort. I mean, that's how well maintained this place is. Just look at it, the alleyways and the little quarters and, you know, the whole vibe is constructed to transport you into a different realm, a whole different dimension. So here's the magnificent private pool, but you can only use it if you are staying in one of these villas. The main building, guests cannot use this area at all. For that, we saw the uh, rooftop pool earlier, so that's as good as you'll get. But if you're willing to pay a bit more, then you can have this little tropical paradise all to yourself. Just walking around this area is a whole life experience on its own. There's so much detail. You know, you have these carvings and these elephant motifs and you have these fish in the pond and just the way the hedges are cut, you know, the villas, the verandas, the furniture, the, the bricks, just the way everything is constructed is a great, great experience. I'm not sure who the designer or the architect company is for this uh, particular property, but honestly, they've done an amazing job. I mean, look at this. Elephants shooting water out of their trunks. It's just amazing. And then right at the back, you have the Bangkok skyline and the big, tall, modern buildings. And kind of reminds you for a second that, hey, no, you're not in an island paradise. You're in the middle of Bangkok. Honestly, you can shoot like a adventure, thriller, dramatic movie in this area. I mean, just look at it. It reminds me of that. I don't know if you've seen Kickboxer from uh, the 90s. 
Jean-Claude Van Damme. Do you remember that movie, Kickboxer, where he goes to Thailand to uh, train and uh, participate in the uh, kickboxing championships? This whole setup, honestly, reminds me of Jean-Claude Van Damme in The Kickboxer. I watched that movie a million times as a kid. And just watching these buildings, the architecture, the motifs, the tall palm trees reminds me of those scenes where he's training with his Thai master and uh, breaking coconuts and breaking palm trees with his bare legs. Amazing, amazing scenery. I love these motifs they have on the doors at the villas here. Very traditional Thai. And each villa has its own color, its own theme. And I mean, it's just a really amazing place to stay. And these flowers I picked up right from the tree itself. At first, I thought they were just flowers lying around for decorative purposes. And then I looked up and they had these flowers right on the trees there. And they just keep falling like, you know, like cherry blossom, just falling all through the day. And then the ladies come and clean them up. It's just absolutely beautiful. Like, I collected a few. I brought them to my room. But sadly, they withered in a few days. Now, here's some quick facts about Thailand. According to US News, Thailand ranks number 29 on the global scale in terms of compatibility with the West, in terms of education, infrastructure, social uh, environment, uh, the ease to do business. Um, safety, all these factors that are prominent in any expat considering to move to Thailand and start a new life, whether it's in terms of, you know, a personal life, in terms of your goals, travel, adventure, meeting new people, discovering various traditions or just starting a new business or building a house or retiring, whatever it is. I think 29 is a pretty great rating if you look at it. I mean, what, there's about 210 plus countries in the world to so be ranked 29 a Southeast Asian country, a developing nation, that's, that's a big achievement. And the thing is, if I were to get a hotel in any normal Western country like Canada, USA, anywhere in Europe or Australia, which has the same kind of poshness and luxury and, and design and amenities and the quality of service as the Davis Bangkok, I'd probably be paying about $200, $250 minimum, easily. The fact that I'm paying only $50 per day for a property like this is, is beyond me. I mean, and this is considered a luxury property in the main district of Bangkok, which is Sukhumweed Road, um, with all the cafes and restaurants and bars and malls around. Uh, and yet it's still 50 bucks, considered a luxury property. You know, so if you go further down, further up, outside of the city, you get more cheaper properties. So this just gives you an idea of the livability of the city and that's amazing to me as a Westerner from Canada. I think what it comes down to is if you are someone who loves adventure, who's fond of exploration, meeting new people, immersing yourself in different traditions and cultures, and who isn't afraid of taking risks, who isn't uncomfortable getting out of their comfort zone, then definitely a move to Asia would be a good idea and that's something I'm actually considering. Um, I've had an e-commerce business, successful e-commerce business for the last 12 years uh, and it's allowed me to travel the world and you know work from anywhere remotely, be my own boss, live a digital nomad lifestyle. Um, even before the remote work became a norm after the pandemic, so I'm quite used to that for the last 12 years. Uh, but I still remain permanently in Canada. I haven't had the opportunity to take the plunge and move permanently to Asia, but if I were to move, Thailand would definitely be my number one choice. Anyway, I'll stop yapping now. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, I'm going to get to my workout now. So I didn't want to invade anybody's privacy, but I did want to kind of get closer to the private villas just to show you guys what they look like. So when you walk through these little alleyways, you can see each one of these private villas has like a nice seating area and uh, you have the pool right in front of you. But let me just kind of turn around here and show you what I mean. So you see those windows, those black windows, they're like top level villa, lower level villa. And you have like all these nice walkways and pathways that lead up to the entrance of each villa. 
And especially during the daytime, you can see the details, like the doors, the knobs, the windows, the panes, the carvings. You have that little Buddha there, right over there at the entrance where you take off your shoes. I mean, it's, it's just a real surreal traditional Thai experience, I think. They spend a lot of money constructing this place. It's like an oasis, um, and at the end of the day, you get a full-on cultural experience right here. I thought I'd also capture some of the scenes during the nighttime. I think it's spectacular. Uh, the pool is closed right now, so there's no water running, as you can see. And um, very romantic at night. I think it's the kind of place where you want to hold your lover's hand, take a walk, chit-chat about life, plan your future, maybe a next baby, <laughs> you know. Um, very romantic. I'm, I'm a very romantic person, so I think uh, this particular time of the day at night, uh, it's quite, quite magical, sensual, and romantic. Just, you know, grabbing a cup of coffee or, uh, you know, whatever you prefer drinking, um, holding your lover's hand, and just walking through these pathways, just a quiet, you know, compassionate night, just talking about life, talking about feelings. Just absolutely amazing. So this is what I wanted to show you guys earlier, but couldn't during the daytime. But nighttime, it's uh, pretty much very private right now. Probably people are sleeping. I just wanted to show you each villa. When you look at the entrance, when you look inside the doors, you'll see that they have nice seating areas. And um, this is a little plunge pool for the kids, I assume. Um, you can just chill there as well. And uh, yeah, at nighttime, the whole scenery just changes. Um, it's very therapeutic, very relaxing, very zen. And actually, I'll be honest, you know, on a couple of occasions, I came during the nighttime, just brought some food from 7-Eleven and just sat on one of these chairs and just relaxed by the pool. Um, no need to explain to anyone whether I'm a private villa guest or not, because, you know, I'm just sitting there chilling. Please do subscribe. I'm a young channel. I'm looking to grow. Travel is my passion and it's people like you who watch my videos that enable me to keep giving it my best. I'm still learning. I have no background in video editing and, and voiceovers and scripting, but I'm learning everything on my own, literally, by Googling and YouTube tutorials. So your support means the world to me. Thank you so much. Take care.